Hi everybody, this is gonna be a tutorial on how to mirror objects in Maya. I'm gonna show you a few different techniques. This right here is a medical droid modeled in Maya. If you're interested in seeing the full tutorial how I built this, you can go to gumroad.com slash Dabney and you can purchase the tutorial there. And also you can see more of my art on Instagram at art by Dabney. So let's say we wanna mirror this engine here. I'm gonna hit shift P just to pop it out of the group. And as you can see, the pivot's here. So when we mirror, it's going to mirror right on top of itself. So we want to actually get the pivot to the origin. So we're going to go modify freeze transformations, modify reset. See the pivot moves down there. And I'm just going to delete this one for the purposes of the exercise. And we're going to go mesh mirror. I'm going to reset my settings because I've been using this tool. I don't want cut. I want to mirror on world. I'll leave it as copy. I'm going to mirror across the X axis. That's this red arrow, which is the same as down here. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a, the X is going left and right. Y is up and down. Z is forward back. We don't want to combine because I want to leave them separate objects. And let's hit mirror. So that's one way to mirror. Um, in this case, uh, after I mirror, I'm going to go edit, delete all by type history. And it grouped this engine, so I'm gonna hit shift P and then delete that empty group. So that's one way to mirror. Another way is to do control D to duplicate. And then scale X will go negative one. And one last thing though is we want, after you do that, it's bad to have negative scales on your meshes. So what we want to do again is freeze and you can also reset. And one thing to check is turn off. If this is checked on, you want to uncheck it because it'll show normals that are flipped as black in the viewport. In this case, it worked out fine. Let's pick a couple of verts. Let's say your model was like that, you just didn't see it. And we'll do a mirror. And you have a hole. You can hold control, left click, increase your threshold. In this case, I'm typing three. So that merged everything. I'm going to go shading, use default material just to throw a Lambert on it. And these verts are very messy right now. It's not evenly spaced. One thing you can do is you can go to Surfaces, Sculpt Geometry Tool, Option Box. And I like to do Relax. Hold B to make your brush bigger. And that relax those verts. Another good way to tell if there's a hole in your model. So let's say so you have a hole. You can go display polygons, custom poly display. And I want to highlight border edges. I'm going to make this a big number like 8. When you hit apply, you get a really thick border. And if you go display polygons, custom poly display, and you hold control shift, it's going to add that to your shelf. So in this case, I want to pick an edge, shift right click, fill hole, shift right click, multi cut, left click, left click, right click. Now I've filled that hole. And that's the basics of mirroring Maya.